Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for watching our videos. Do appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Heading up to Kroger for the weekly deals that uh, Pegg has gone through the circular to uh, to see what's on sale this week. We'll talk about that here in a second. Um, before we get started, though, if you've not hit our subscribe button below to subscribe to our channel, would you please do so below? Also, the bell notification button below. That way you'll get notified when we put up future videos. And we'd love for you to hit the like button at the very end as well. Peg has gone through the circular to figure out what's on sale. So, uh, anything good, hon? Yeah, I really like the chicken. There's a three-pound chicken that's part of the weekly digital deal for four ninety-nine. So it's frozen Kroger. It comes out to dollar sixty-six per pound. Buck, per six, buck sixty-six a pound. Boneless chicken breast. It's a great price for that. And I also like the Kroger beef. Like I said, my Kroger beef pricing was a dollar ninety nine, and just came out to dollar eighty eight. Now that's the seventy thirty beef, right? The ground that's, beef, rather. Yes, yeah, a seventy three. Yeah, seventy three percent, seventy twenty or seventy three twenty seven, rather. Right. Um, good for making meatloaf and uh, and and goulash with though, uh, and maybe even hamburgers and tacos. Yeah, true that. I I actually like the uh, like the eighty twenty though for uh, hamburgers. Um, a little bit of fat in it, but not so much fat that you're got a lot of grease at the very end but if you're on keto you do want it it is high fat so as you know keto is all about fat so I hear you. so let's get on into kroger we're going to park and uh, go in and talk deals deals and even more deals hang tight okay so one of the things that we like to talk about at kroger is the digital deals they have every week these are the digital deals they've got today. DiGiorno's, which is actually a really good deal. $3.99 for DiGiorno's is a really, really good deal. There's the boneless chicken breast that Peg wants to talk about. $4.99. Um, they've got uh, Hershey's uh, and uh, Reese's party bags for $6.99. They even have uh, fresh baked chocolate chip cookies for $1.99 for the package and private uh, selection kettle. That's the private label brand here, the private selection kettle chips for a buck 49 they've got cheese it's the big family size crackers for a buck 99 we'll go through the store and look at some of these when we get uh, when we get in here i do like the broccoli i'm just going to talk about the broccoli because i'm going to buy some i will say that uh four out of my six kids in my family four out of the six people in our family like broccoli can you guess who doesn't like broccoli that be you and one of my other kids. Oh. Number three, son. We need to get bananas. Okay. Actually, uh, not great. No, there's, there's, there's a couple that aren't bad. Down here is not bad. I'm not going to get, I don't want to get six, though, so these don't look half bad. I'm just going to get four of them, though. Here's the zucchini for 99 cents. Okay. And yellow squash for 99 cents. If you like either or, not a bad price. Snow peas don't look the best in the world either, do they? For 4.49, would you buy? Would you spend 4.49 for those? No, they were cheap for Trader, Trader Joe's, and Trader Joe's was actually had really good snow peas. Yeah, they had really good snow peas. I would pass on these snow peas. However, snow peas and Chinese beef. Sounds pretty good right about now. Just saying. And here's the broccoli lounge that I bought. So that, those are 99 cents, and that's a really good price. Normally, they're a lot more expensive. No, the crowns are, yeah. Cucumber's not bad for uh, 59 cents for a cucumber. Is there a good one up there? It's everyday low price. You could I grab it. I actually love cucumbers, to be honest with you. That one doesn't look bad. Is that, that one does not look bad at all. Should I get a bag for that? Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? Why do I need that big of a bag for a cucumber? That's better. That looks like the bag that you put celery in, to be honest. Hey, I got it open without licking my fingers, honey. See that? I know it's amazing, isn't it? All right, let's see what else we got going on here. You know how much I like pretzel, peanut butter pretzel chip? These aren't peanut butter pretzels, though, are they? 
They don't have peanut butter in them. No, they're just a pretzel yeah. chunk. Yeah, they're just pretzel bites. Yeah. But there's the cookie chunk. Oh, these are the ones that are on sale? We're not buying any, but... Okay. Bummers. So there is sugar cookies, chocolate chip, peanut butter. They have chocolate chip with them and M's in them. No, we're good. And they have punchkis over there. Let's go. <clears throat> you know, I'm actually not going to, uh, I'm not going to indulge my sweet tooth today. Really? I'm not going to indulge my sweet tooth. Oh my gosh. Can I, honey? Can I? No, we have so much bread. Oh, that's right, we do. I forgot we about that. A lot of bread right now. We bought a lot of bread for that French toast, didn't we? Here is the beef I was talking about. Oh, the ground beef, yeah, the 73%. Right, 73, 27%, three pound rolls. It's a great price for $1.88. Did you say we're almost actually out of hamburger in our freezer? Yes, we actually, we do need to buy some. Do we have room? Yes, we do. Can you buy two, please? Two, please. Mm -hmm. I shall get two. And that's uh, freeze by, use by or freeze by the 10th of February, so we're good. That'll hit the freezer well before the 10th of February. And then the Chuck I roast is $3.49. It's a good price. It's not a great price. Like I said, I like to have it at $2.99. Yeah, but those don't look too that those don't look that great either, do they? Well, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, and I am going to pass on these today. Yep. But maybe at the end of the week we might get better selection. I hope so. So this is a really, really good price. $4.99 for a three pound bag of boneless chicken breast. But it's also frozen, keep right. that in mind. So it is a great price. It comes out to about $1.66 a pound. But you need to download the weekly digital deal. Are we getting one and throwing it in the freezer? We are not, but I just wanted to share with yeah, our I viewers. Thought, I thought we had enough chicken in the freezer. but We do. That actually is a good price, $4.99 for a three pound bag. How long's the sale on for the chunky soup, by the way? Um, let me see what they say. I don't see a date on it. Do you two, see one two. down? Oh, so it goes through the February well, 2nd, which is I, what, next Tuesday? Yeah. It was on sale last week, too, but the chunky soup is 99 cents for each can. It's a great price. It's my price point for chunky soup. The only problem is, is you've got to buy eight to get the price. You have to buy the eight. And my son did have soup this past week for lunch, and he goes, oh my gosh, brings me back up the college days, Mom. Because he used to have it all the time. Right. Yeah, the biggest problem is it's not one of those you can buy up to, it's you have to. Mm -hmm. So big difference. Right I'm not going to buy the big one. Right there. I have to buy five or more. What are these? Let's see. It's 38 ounces. That's huge. That's 50 ounces right here, 38 ounces. These. So well, this, buy at least two. How long is ketchup good for? 2022. Wow, okay. So yeah. that's two. All right, I'll get two then. We just have to buy five or more. We did go through that whole thing of ketchup pretty quick, actually. That's part of the buy five, isn't it? Uh, craft dressing. Uh, not dressing, but barbecue sauce. Look at the price. That's a great price. They got the original, the mesquite. They got sweet brown sugar, hickory smoke. When was the last time we had craft barbecue sauce? It's been a long time, but the craft barbecue sauce is by five or more. It comes out to 49 cents each. They've also got the sweet honey. They've got the spicy honey. Do you want to try one? No. Well, okay. I know no. what else I want to buy, but. All right. Well, let's get the other stuff then. Do you remember when the kids were growing up and we used to get ravioli and SpaghettiOs and they would combine them and make raviolios? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, they were the mini ravioli, is that right? The mini raviolis and the SpaghettiOs, they would put them together and they would call it raviolios. 
It was an interesting combination. They ate out quite a bit. Yeah, they, we went through a lot of that when the kids were growing up. I'm surprised. I, I just saw that, and it just made me remi it reminded me of that. Maybe uh, Campbell's uh, Chef Boy or Campbell should come out with raviolios. Think that's an idea for them? That is a great idea. Can I can I can I trademark that? No. Oh. Which ones do we normally get? We get uh, the big ones, right? That right here is fine. These right here? Yeah. Is it just one, right? Yeah, one is fine. I guess we're having Taco Tuesday. No, it was, on Al it was on Alex's list. Okay. I saw that. We have enough bread at I home, know, though. But look at that. Buy one, get one free. I do like their butter bread. That's what we normally get when we go to Florida. We can't tell them. We're going to Florida again. Shh. Nobody knows we're going to Florida. Which tater chips do we need to get? This favorite. Oh, the kettle kicked? Yes. All right. Is that it? Yeah, they had changed the bag. Oh, so, wow. so this is the new bag now. Wow, it looks pretty light. What am I getting? How many? Well, you have to buy three or more. Well, I'm going to buy three then. That's the same size bag. They just changed the packaging. That's oh, all. Did they? Yeah. Part of the buy, That's buy a good price on more. goldfish. Mickey Mouse goldfish. I haven't seen those before. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. Look, look here. I know. Mickey Mouse goldfish. Do you want to get one? No. Okay. We have plenty of goldfish, but isn't that so cute? It's a really good price for goldfish if you like goldfish, too. It's on the buy five, too. Mm -hmm. So, Cheez-Its, two ninety nine. That's just a low price for Cheez-Its. Well, there was one price that's gone here, but here it is. Here it is. Yeah, there it is. What is it? The original? That's the reduced fat. There's one over there. Okay. The toasty. Extra toasty. Yeah. So, you know, you have to watch them really carefully on the size. This is the big box. It's a family size. So this is a great price. Yeah, it's actually, the big box is actually a buck cheaper than the normal, the smaller box. Because it's on the digital deal. Which is why they're out of the regular Cheez-Its. So the normal size box of Cheez-Its is what, 10 ounces, 12 ounces, and the 10, fam 10 and the family size is um, how much? Um, I should say right on there. 19. So 19 ounces versus 10.5, and it's a dollar cheaper than the smaller box. Right, but you have to download the digital deal. Yep, exactly. But hey, worth it I think for a buck for a buck. Entomins are still buy one get one free, aren't they? Yes, they are. I had somebody mention or comment in one of our videos about Entenmann's and uh, some of the different products with Entenmann's as oh, they were growing up. Oh, they were looking for the banana bread, the bread that had on the bread. Well, so we're going to have to look down the actual aisle and see if they've got it. It's the cake with the banana top frosting. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. I remember that. So we'll go see if they've got it here. But uh, Entenmann's right now, the Little Bites, if you buy one, you get one free. Here's the original cheeses. So yeah, they do have the original cheeses. They have it on an, on an end cap, but there's none in the aisle. But the end cap is full of the regular cheeses. We got half a gallon of milk. Do we need more? Uh, not right now. Okay. Not right now. You know, I mentioned in one of our videos about hand sanitizer. Um, I don't see any here. I think it's uh, they've got hand sanitizer here, but I mentioned that. Oh, there's some up there. Um, you don't want to leave hand sanitizer in your car. And somebody questioned as to why. Um, I will say that during the summer and fall of last year, there was a rumor going around that if you left hand sanitizer in your car, it could blow up. That has been completely debunked. That is not true, so don't believe that if you hear that again. However, what is true is if you leave hand sanitizer in a hot car or in the sunshine, because it's made with alcohol, it loses its effectiveness. So that's why you don't want to leave it in a hot car or in sunshine, no hand sanitizer in hot cars or sunshine. Not because it'll blow up, that is a rumor, not true, but it will lose its effectiveness over time. So that's why you don't want to leave it in the car. You said something about Pampers wipes? Yeah, because it's part of the buy five. So Pampers wipes are part of the buy five? Yeah, it's 99 cents, don't you? And with our 
grandkids now, we need wipes in the house, don't we? Yeah, so let's get the sensitive. Three of them. The unscented right here? Right here. Is that unscented, what you want? No, unscented. That's perfume what I said, free. the unscented? Oh, the perfume free sensitive. Right. That's what you want? Yep. Three of those? Mm -hmm. That's our buy five. So this is a really good price this week. So it's what, uh, 99 cents each? Save a buck on each of them. At least a dollar because they're normally two nineteen. Yep, and then uh, again, it's uh, buy five or more, and we now have five of uh, five or more, don't we? Yes, we do. And one more thing. Okay, what are we going? Last year, butter got to six dollars a pound. Six dollars a pound for a pound of butter, and that was for the generic stuff too, not just the Land O'Lakes, but the generic stuff. Right now, on the buy five or more, you can get Land O'Lakes for two forty nine for a pound. That's a really good price. A really good price. We have, I think, nine pounds of butter in our freezer yet, so I'm not going to buy butter. Uh, we stocked up when it got down to $1.99 each, just around Thanksgiving. So we have plenty of butter in our freezer, but that is a great price right now for butter, $2.49 on the buy five. And unsalted, too. So there's yeah. both unsalted and salted. I know that people, a lot of people use the unsalted butter as well. And uh, also the half sticks. I like the half sticks. Um, because you don't have to leave a whole stick of butter out. Good price for Philly cream cheese, by the way. You like Philly cream cheese. That's yeah, part of the buy five. Yeah, but price point is a little high for me. Usually really? I like that for 99 cents, the bars. You can get them for 99 cents? Yes, you can. Okay. You price better than I do sometimes. Do we need eggs? Okay. So we need hot dog and hamburger buns? They're four for five. We're not going to get four, are we? Two, two. So I want a hamburger bun. And I don't want to get the wrong hot dog buns like I did once before. And hot dog buns. I got the wrong hot dog buns once and the kids were upset with me. It's, that's part, actually, of the buy, it's part of the buy five. So that's it's actually a really good price on Edie's. Mm -hmm. Two forty-nine, and they even have frozen two Edies, magical mint snowflake. Yeah, we've gotten the, uh, we've gotten the. Uh, so they got sour patch. So we could buy any of these because, because uh, we were already, we already you hit the five. I don't see anything I want to get though. Well, actually, do you want to get a chocolate? Because the kids have gotten into making. Uh, Making um, milkshakes with our. Uh... There's a drumstick? Really? Look at that. I see that. There's drumstick ice cream? What's that up there? Pumpkin pie? Yep. Strawberry. Try the drumstick ice cream. You want to try a drumstick ice cream? So I was saying the kids are making milkshakes mm -hmm. with our Ninja blender. So I didn't know if you wanted to get chocolate so they could make um, milkshakes with them. That's okay. We'll try this. And I see you stuck in bars too, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hey, th those are healthy. Aren't they? No comment. I said I wasn't going to. I, I, did, not, I did not go after my sweet tooth today. <laughs> I did not. You did. Oh, the chocolate? Even though we're not buying it here. Yeah, it's on sale. Regular price here, eleven seventy nine. Now it's six ninety nine. Look at that. Yeah. No, it's normally eleven seventy nine. Sale price eight ninety nine, but on the digital deal six ninety nine. So it's basically half price, almost half price. I am not going to get Cadbury cream eggs, by the way. I heard someone stole all mine. Stole them all. Did I you didn't, even get one? I did not even get one. You didn't get one? I did not get one. Oh my gosh. Nope. So remember me when, as we get towards Easter that I did not get one. One. So wrapping things up here at uh, Kroger today, we saved like almost 30 bucks with the uh, digital deals and the buy five, right? Yep. We did. So on hamburger, on the tater chips, the kettle cooked tater chips, um, we did buy a couple of things we weren't supposed to, like my strawberry bars and like uh, some ice cream from Edie's, but it was on sale. Uh, strawberry bars weren't, I'll give you that, but uh, Edie's was on sale. So 
Um, actually, pretty good deals in there today, especially on the chicken. Uh, great deals on the chicken. Great deals on the 73% uh, hamburger. And the Kraft barbecue sauce. Oh, I forgot about that. Kraft barbecue sauce. And also on butter. A great deal on butter. Uh, Land O'Lakes butter for two forty nine. dollars You're not going to find that price normally. We were lucky to find it over Thanksgiving. It dropped to a buck ninety nine on digital deals over Thanksgiving, but two forty nine. dollars Great price on uh, Land O'Lakes Butter, by the way. So if you if you get a chance to buy those, that's part of the buy five too, right? Yeah. Just remember, we are in the state of Indiana, so people ask where we're at. So that's yeah. where we're at. So and that, you might find different prices at your store across the country, especially in like Florida or California. Um, they might have different prices, but in Indiana, or at least where we're at anyway, those are the prices. And they're normally pretty consistent, I would say, too, across the country for Kroger. Yeah, the digital deals is basically on your app, and those are pretty consistent. Yep. So make sure you download the Kroger app and get those digital deals. Um, I will say right now, gas here jumped another 30 cents a gallon uh, over the last couple of days, but I filled up at Sam's Club for 30 cents cheaper than it is at Kroger. Uh, I think Kroger is 245 right now. Looking back, I just filled up at 215. So just keep in mind, gas just jumped this week, 30 cents a gallon here anyway. Thanks for watching our videos. Do appreciate you checking them out as always. Love for you to hit the subscribe button below if you've not yet already done so. Love for you to hit the bell notification button. That way you'll get notified when we put up future videos. And I'd really love it if you'd hit the like button below as well. That'll help us out immensely. Thanks for watching.